experience. We have been doing, I'm sure most of uh, the people attending this panel will uh, recognize the name uh, of uh, uh, this uh, uh, installation. Um, but there are different uh, features which uh, created some uh, advantages to different uh, advantages to some of our uh, customers. For example, in the uh, first one, we had compared to the other technology power saving up to 120, 150 kilowatts per tons of liquid steel so we are saying that since you are loading hot material you have saving in the in the power used for the liquid steel as well as in the uh, electrode uh, <clears throat> electrode consumption uh, we had uh, uh, this data is certified data uh, which we discussed with our customers and we during uh, uh, preliminary conversation with them and then we verified uh, we verified uh, on the field uh, with uh, a saving as you can see of uh, uh, almost ten dollar per tons of tapping weight uh, special feature which that are linked to the hot charging system itself are uh, that we have armed as the inert system with automatic media uh, control length up to 300 meters so no uh, we do not care where the EF is normally installed uh, and uh, since uh, the, 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 the previous panel was talking about digitalization etc we are really proud to have a completely uh, industry 4.0 uh, allowance uh, plant and system thanks to our sister company again belonging to our group which we call Primes 4.0 is is a, is a, a company which is developing under Aumund umbrella all the um, digitalization of the sensor and uh, systems we are applying on our uh, conveyor with preventive maintenance and uh, business intelligence together with the information we have with the allowance of our customers. As you can see, what is the advantages of uh, uh, going, why we need to go to the green DRI? <laughs> because CO2 emissions are becoming a big challenge for the environment. So uh, we need to, everybody is committed to reduce the emissions. We need to have a eco-friendly technologies. We need to reduce the carbon and hence the tax on the carbon. Okay. With uh, increasing scrap availability, we can also use it uh, effectively in a combination of DRI and scrap in any of the uh, EA furnaces. Okay. We can also, uh, reduce the dependency on the sinter plants and coke plants and the blast furnaces which are aging nowadays and to keep them operating and to rebuild them is getting expensive and there is a lot of uncertainty in this okay, next please okay as you can see uh, they have the next is the use of hydrogen in the dr plants Okay, hydrogen with combination of using in DR plants as some companies have already started putting up uh, a pilot plants to induce uh, hydrogen into DR plants. And as per the Paris Agreement, everybody is committed to reduce the CO2 emissions. Hydrogen has already on the other part, hydrogen in, uh, induced uh, is already tried in blast furnace, but still it is on the lab scale. But uh, DRI is a little bit far ahead on the usage of uh, hydrogen in DRI. All right, go ahead, John. Yeah, so I spent, uh, I spent several years working for ArcelorMittal marketing and selling DRI globally. And also I was directly responsible for global scrap purchases for the company. Um, 
so one of the issues that we always had is the more you have carbon in your process on a DRI basis, you got major recovery of the carbon in the product and you didn't lose it through the bag house as opposed to adding carbon directly into the furnace in an electric car furnace. So the higher the DRI, the better, the more benefit you get in your in your process of making steel. So when I saw zero percent carbon at a hundred percent hydrogen, um, I'm seeing a loss of value for DRI, even though you have a major gain in sort of CO2. That was the reason for my question. Okay, when you go, yes, you are correct in your question. When you go to using of 100% hydrogen, you can definitely, uh, you are losing the carbon percentage in the DRI. Uh, normally, this carbon percentage, uh, carbon advantage is taken in steel mill shop uh, for the parking purpose. But yes, uh, now the future is to use uh, DRI and reduce emissions. So we need to balance on how to manage this. Carbon as a product, it can be added into EF separately so that uh, you get uh, you get uh, carbon content in the hot metal. But uh, the first uh, and priority business is now to reduce the emissions. So better, I would suggest that better to go for the hydrogen-based DRI plants in the future. Ciao, ciao. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so uh, this is the question. I, I I'm not a, a really experienced on the, on the palletizer line, but my 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 question is uh, coming from my existing plant, uh, and uh, I would like to understand uh, if uh, the thermal curve for the pellet dry. I mean, I'm talking about the pellet dry during the pellet dry sequence. Uh, we have something in automatic that control the thermal the thermal curve uh, uh, heatings and dry. Well, what, what what is the system that is uh, is controlling handling this uh, this kind of uh, thermal curve? Yeah, uh, I can tell you that uh, on the secondary drying we are doing with our pellet dryer, we have. Uh, developed uh, together with our sister company Primes uh, a series of sensors, uh, radars, uh, thermo cameras which are controlling constantly the pellet temperature from the inlet to the outlet and some pedal wheels during the transportation of the pellet are turning the pellets in order to control not only the surface temperature, but also during it during the transportation. So uh, you will have uh, a, a constant signal of the uh, temperature and the emission of gas, thermal emission, etc., all along the transportation line of the conveyor. This is on the almond uh, dryer. I cannot reply for. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Uh, yes, very good, very good. You are talking about the thermal uh, camera. So yes. uh, you are controlling by thermal camera and not, and not by uh, thermocouples. You are talking about uh, thermal camera. We, 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 we tried also with thermocouples. You, in, in, in old fashion technology, we were using it, but you know, it's very tough to go deep into the, into the bed layer of the pellets with the thermocouple. 